Hello, I am Sean Sands from Gamers with Jobs, back with more Kerbal Space Program. I'm picking up a pretty much right where we left off. So, a couple things from the last episode. Uh, one, uh, apologies, the sound on balancing on that episode was really weird. Hopefully, it hadn't been like that the whole time. Um, but the, the thrust noise was just way high and... Um, so apologies. Hopefully I, I've, I've done some adjustments to the settings. Hopefully we've got that taken care of. Um, second thing is people have definitely been asking for more of the new parts and the, some of the more of the new features. Uh, so I definitely want to do that this time. I think what I would like to do, uh, we have a variety of stuff. We have the moon. We have plant a flag on Minmus. Um, do we have anything else for Minmus? just doesn't want to send me a Minmus. I don't care. <clears throat> I earned some money uh, just running a couple of missions. Um, I think what I would like to do this time, I still have done nothing with planes. Uh, I think what I would like to do this time is I want to put a science station on Minmus. Now, I don't want to abuse that. I'm not going to do that and then immediately like warp years ahead and just collect science, you know, sort of cheats that's not the point but uh it is nice to kind of have those science stations out there and i like feeling like you know we have a populated uh kerbin system kerbal system uh so i want to do that the tricky part for me is i would like to do that i would like to put the science station on but also have be able to sort of detach it and leave it there and have a return vehicle to bring uh, my pilot home. So we leave, I don't know, a couple of scientists out there. Uh, and I would like to do that by trying while also using some of the newer parts. Uh, I don't need. All right. So I know we've, we haven't, this time we'll get it to work. This, this, this is, this is our time. Um, so first thing we're going to want to do is I do have the science station now, right? Did I unlock that? I think I unlocked it. Hope I did, or else this is all pointless. Um, yeah, mobile processing lab. Yes. So, first thing I want to put together here is the return vehicle. Uh, it's going to need some parachutes. Put that right up there. And we'll put a couple of radio mounted ones on just to be. Uh, for safekeeping. I don't know actually which of these is I'm assuming this must be the like can you get out of this thing? Well even if we can't it's fine. All right, I want to test something here so let's put these here um, and we'll can he get out? <clears throat> Wait for him to appear. There's Jeb. Jeb, do an EVA. Okay, you can't get out. And then where do you get out? You get on that side. Interesting. All right, we'll revert. Good, good, good. Good to know. So we will put this here, I guess. And you pop out of here. All right. Cool. Um, that is going to be our final landing stage. Are we going to want some science? We're going to want to bring some science back, right? It's also going to be, I mean, we'll have the mobile processing lab, but we'll probably still want to do our basic stuff. I got to imagine. So, um, service bay, open that, put some science in there. go some science there and some thermometers there those are and the barometer good close that up do we oh these have they have little hexagon patterns on them they're really hard to see but they have little hexagon pattern so that's very cool um good because we'll collect some science from the surface of uh minmus so we have science we have that we're going to need some electricity 
So why don't we put this here, put that there, and we will put some photovoltaic panels on right there, and maybe some more on the bottom, just to be sure. We'll also need some of those on our actual, how many parts do we have? Yeah, we got plenty of parts to work with. Okay, and then we need a heat shield. Still, how have I still not unlocked the upgrade? Like that has to be a priority, is opening the better, unlocking the better heat shield. <clears throat> do we want reaction controls? I think we might, because this thing, that was one of the problems, right? It did not have good reaction controls. Um, so I want to kind of take this up and just test it. Let's just put a, this is just a test. I want to see how this thing acts when it's up in the air and coming in. Uh, so we'll put, this is not an official mission. This is just, just trying something. So we're going to launch that. And we're going to SAS, gonna throttle up, get some speed. Uh, oh, it actually has its own thing. I see. Interesting. Well, we actually don't want that okay because we're going to want to keep the science okay well i spun it around nicely <laughs> i wasn't trying to create a particularly effective flying machine here so i'm okay with that she wants to go around again let's do it again one more time <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna kill that. Okay, so I do have some control over it. So I don't feel like I'm completely lost. Okay, that is what I wanted to see. So that control wheel has some degree of effectiveness. Um, not when we're doing dumb things with a rocket, but okay, so I might be able to have a controlled descent of some kind. Good, 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 good. All right, so that is our final stage. We still have the heat shield on there, correct? Yes, and we do still want the decoupler. All right, next part is we need the actual stage that's going to get us off the surface of Midness. So I think we're gonna want and how can we do that using newer fuel tanks? Um, well, we need stuff that's the right size. That's the wrong size. How about this, maybe? Wrong size. How about this? Oh, it's all built for something different. That's the giant one. That's just those. I mean, we could do a kind of an adapter, I suppose. And then pop this on here, just like that. decouplers on the side and I have a reason I want to do that because that's where I think we'll do that and we'll grab some of these that's too big so that's a, some fuel which is good but also what I want to do is actually have some engines there. In fact, I think we're going to need to keep those engines. So we're not actually going to decouple these separately. So we can just kind of touch these right in the air. What I don't want to do, since we're going to be taking off and dropping off the mobile processing unit, which I assume is down here, um, we're going to want to have, we're not gonna to wanna to blow up our own mobile processing unit. This is probably way more actually Delta V than I need to get back from Mimbus 
actually. So let's take these back off. Uh, that's probably too big. Let's go with this, something a little bit more reasonable. No, I mean... Ooh, can I do different colors? Let's see. Kind of like that. And then we'll do two right here. And that's where we will put the engines. Actually, I'm, th I'm thinking of things as I'm going along here. So forgive me for kind of just forgive me. <laughs> just do it. All right. Hopefully that is what is going to get us off Minmus. And that's just, well, and also Kerbal Engineer is not working well with the new parts. So we cannot trust that Delta V total, but that should be plenty to get us off Minmus and on a return trajectory, which means the next step is another decoupler. Uh, good. And then the mobile processing unit. Can we land with that? So I want to test something real quick. I know we're not going to go anywhere. I just want to see if the heat from the engines um, makes things bad. All right. So no, you're fine. It doesn't, doesn't light them up or anything like that. So we're probably actually going to want to touch down with these two. So full throttle, we have a lot of gas, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah, revert flight. So ideally, we'll get close to the ground with whatever stage is right below. We'll land with these and then detach and take back off to return to Kerbin. Now that also is going to need uh, photovoltaic panels. And a couple of batteries maybe on there too, just to keep it charged up. And then we have our decoupler there as well, which is good. Then we're actually talking about some of our bigger stages. Oh, this thing's gonna be a monster. Uh, do I want it to take it to the even bigger size? Maybe. Nope. Nope. Is there not a bigger size? That may be what we got. So we want some RCS. Which of these is the cheapest? Ugh, tiny. I mean, we're not going to need a ton of RCS. All right, we'll revisit RCS in a second. Need to find the right fuel tanks. There we go. That's what we want. Uh, do we want a different color? Orange? No. See enough orange. Believe it or not, I like staggering these because it looks like the checker pattern looks cool to me. I'm a simple man with simple pleasures. Um, so that is going to be hopefully our transition stage. Um, 1600, the skipper's 5300. This one doesn't. 375 versus 650, but in a vacuum, it's much more efficient. So that we're going to toss right on there. That is our stage designed to get us to Minmus and maybe circularize our orbit. Hopefully, not a bunch. Hopefully, most of that's taken care of then the main stage which is what this is going to be and we're probably going to use let's see what do we want the temptation is always use the main sail um just because it has so much thrust 1379 versus 374. skiff like the thing is well let's see hang on we can revisit that in a second so we're going to have a whole bunch of further sort of Apollo style 
we're going to spend a ton of money, and I'm going to be just fine with that. Can we put a, several of these on the bottom? Because I want to try that thing where you actually put a couple. But I don't know how to do it. Is there a way to... Or do I just... I have to have the plates for that, probably. Yeah. There's a way, and I just haven't figured out how to do it yet, to put multiple engines on the bottom of one of these things. But I'll have to figure that out. Okay, we are going to have to use the mainsail for now then. I know we want to use new parts and all that stuff, and trust me, I do too. Um, but we gotta, we gotta stay within reason here. Uh, let's see. And then we want to, as usual, also have, um, do we want to go with these again? We use those every time. Or do we want to have sort of a different approach? I mean, there's always the option of... There's always the option of using some of... But we don't... Yeah, something like some of these. To kind of get us going. I think I'm going to sort of stick with partly what I know works, but I think we will do a liquid fuel approach to this. The big question is whether this will even get off the ground. It's going to be heavy. Uh, engines, we'll probably put some skippers on here maybe. At sea level is 280, 265. Yeah, 280s probably the best efficiency we're going to get at this size. So put a couple of skippers on. Now I want to test to see if that even has the thrust to get off the ground. Um, let's also make sure we have Kerbal Engineer on here. I still need to put RCS on. I probably need to put a stabilizer on. Doop. You can change it. That's very cool. You can change it right there. And we'll need to do space tape and all that stuff. Mostly all I want to see is whether you can get this off the ground. Uh, oh, it's too heavy. Um... Okay, so let's, I'm gonna call this the Juno 3 for now. How much is it to get a heavier 282? Yeah, we can do that. We're gonna want heavy, heavy machines now. All right, so again, not testing anything, but whether it lifts off. Like I know I need tons of more space stuff. Oh. Oh. It's very sturdy. Uh, forgot to have the mainsail running. Because that'll need to run at the same time. Probably need more fuel on the side there. And she does take off. How far up does that first stage get us? Not going to do any changing again, just kind of getting getting a sense of how this goes. And the synth stage is doing pretty well. Um, does it have our total delta V? It says we got 5,000 in there. That's only going up. Do I want to put any boosters on this thing? 7,000 total delta V. Still slowly going up. All right, we'll drop those. And we're still... 
Yeah, so this is plenty. Um, good, 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 good. Uh, let's get some structural integrity in there. Well, actually. What about aerodynamics? Do we have the bigger? We don't have the bigger cones yet, do we? Nope. Just, <laughs> just those ridiculous looking things. Get out of here. Um, so let's do that. And a little bit of that. And a little bit of a th oh, that one we do have the columns for, so we might as nope, those don't fit either. All right. Such are the problems with working with a uh, career mode run. <clears throat> Here, do I want to try and kind of... Okay, well... Not really what I had in mind. Let's try that again. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Um, what else? What else are we forgetting? We have solar panels. So we, oh, yep, RCS. That is the thing that we are forgetting. So where is our center of mass? So we need some RCS engines. Command and control, where are you at? There you are. Put some RCS engines right here. Just to kind of help us. And we'll put some RCS tanks right there as well. I'm just going to go with these again because it just seems easier. All right. So let's stage this. Those go first. Then we lose those. Then we lose that. And we will go with that engine. That's going to get us hopefully most of the way there. We will detach. Do we want some legs on this thing? Uh, we'll put some legs on the mobile lander. Or not the mobile lander, the mobile processing unit. Start with those retracted. Good. So hopefully we'll... We'll dump that at the last second, and then we will land using these thrusters, which should have enough. Even I mean, min, this is the gravity so small, we should not have a problem there. We're gonna put these down here. And we do not want actually to jettison the science. That is the the goal is to not jettison the science. Uh, but it seems like it'll get us there. Uh, we need some crew. Uh, we need another scientist. So, Bob, you go. Let's save. Go hire another scientist to kind of work with Bob. Uh, nope. Astronauts. Engineer, pilot, scientist, Stephanie. Stephanie and Bob. No fraternizations. As long as we all understand that, we should be fine. Um, good. Let's put them in different outfits. Yeah. Like it. Okay. I think we're going to do this. Do we want to be able to save any science? No, because we're, we're only running with the pilot on the way back. The scientists are staying. And they'll transmit. We need to transmit. That's a thing we need to do. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so we actually want two transmitters. I think we definitely want one here. Actually on this. And we probably want one on... I don't want it there. And we want a... Let's see. 354. 
500k, 500k, 5 million. So we actually want one on this machine too. There we go. High gain antenna just so we can transmit stuff back. Do I want it there? Maybe I want it here? Okay. Good. Do we think of everything? We got all the science. We got our electrical setup. We have battery. We have photovoltaic panels, batteries and panels there too. We got landers. Uh, we could use some. Good, not clipping, excellent. Um, got our payload. I suppose we have some stability for takeoff. There we go. All right, I'm feeling good about this. Tried to use some newer parts. All right, here we go. Let's go to Minmus. Wait, let's do staging. We did staging, but let's double check it. Done, good, that goes, good. Detach there when we land, then detach when we're ready to leave it behind. Those get us most of the way home. And then once we're in the atmosphere, we detach that. Ride the parachutes in. Do we want maybe some drogue chutes? There's no reason not to. Uh, to sort of help slow us down. And those actually will go first. And then we'll release the rest of them. All right. That's, that's a heavy, that's a heavy vehicle. 158 tons, but we should be able to get it. Let's go to Minmus. Let's all go to the, oh, sorry, nope, sorry. I wish I could catch myself sooner and stuff like that. Uh, three, two, one. Nice clean takeoff. And let's see how much control we have. How good we feel about that control. Feels pretty smooth so far. Want to tip too much. I also want to be careful about making sure those um, that we jettison those those fuel tanks decently enough. So I may rotate a little bit. Rotating is hard. And they're gone. Away they go. Sweet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's all right. We're, nope, no, 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 oh, damn it. Ah. Ah, it's fine. It doesn't look like I need to do that rotation. We should be able to get rid of those tanks just normally. Uh, let's try that again. We, we have to get this thing tilted over a little bit and moving a little bit in that direction. Actually, one of the things I should probably do is go ahead and do that tilt now. Do that roll while we're on the more vertical path and then that can just be done. And we can begin to... And we're not trying to come out of that roll, which is where I screwed up. Just gotta keep that in the in the green. Don't let it get outside by much. Almost out of that first stage. Don't get confused about up which one's up and down. Come on, come on. There you go. Hold. Hold. Good. 
Our apple wraps is at 20k. I want to kind of keep getting some tilt on this. There we go. All right. Relatively okay. Really hoping we have enough to fully circularize with this stage, but we might not. I don't know. We'll have to see. Apple apps at 40k. I think we're going to hold here for a bit. Let our apple apps get a little closer to space. No, we definitely don't have enough to circularize with this uh, with this booster, with this stage. Kill it around 80k. Uh, or it will just stop. Okay. How much delta V do we still need to get circular? Get that. Get about that. So we still need a thousand delta V. We still need 1900 delta V just to get to. Yeah, where we where we want to go. Let's go ahead and jettison that. And clear it. And I'm gonna burn in about 45 seconds. Because this thing doesn't have a lot of boost, but it does have a lot of efficiency in a vacuum. So we'll go ahead and hit it. Now. There we go. Now. <laughs> All right. So we need a solid two minutes of burn. All right. How much Delta V are we going to get out of this thing? It says we, st it thinks we still have 6,000, but I don't think it knows how to measure this equipment up here. So I think there's a lot of question whether how much, how true that actually is. Almost to our Apple apps, which we're getting too faster than I wanted. Still have a minute of burn. Used about a fifth of our fuel, 20% or so. And we have, we are at our Apple apps. So let's see, that's going to be, how much is left in this stage? I think 1,600. So that's going to get us part of the way. Well, I mean, worst case scenario is we land and we don't have enough fuel to get back and we stage a rescue mission. I think we're in, right? I mean, I don't think we're anywhere where I can't go get somebody, um, particularly, you know, with the equipment we're starting to get. And we are almost to a circular orbit. Oh, and we have to get in the same sort of um, inclination as well. Can't forget that. Good, 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 good. Okay, good enough. All right, Minmus, where are you at? Set us our target. Um, forget which one of these is us that one is so we need to make a maneuver why can't I make a I want to make a maneuver why can't I make a maneuver hmm I've had this before where I couldn't make a maneuver I'm going to quickly go to the Space Center and come back out here and see if that fixes the problem. And then back to Juno, which we are going to fly. Yep. Problem solved. Add a maneuver. Nope. 
I want to see my descending node. Thank you. Oh my god. Point seven, five, three, two, one, zero. Okay. It's going to be a full minute. To, oh, we don't know how long that burn is. Two forty-eight. So plenty. Uh, 248 meters per second. We'll need about... Are we in the atmosphere? Well, that is less than perfect. What is our periaps? Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Our apoaps is still 86,000, so we should come back out, I hope. That is not what I had in mind. Come on, we can salvage this mission. We can do it. I believe in me. Periaps is way over here. Oh my God. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get into our orbit. And we can always do a little bit of a prograde burn afterwards. Or not our orbit, but our inclination. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. What is our... Yeah, that'll do. Um, let's turn prograde. How much fuel are we looking at? Under half. Uh, can we... Our apoaps is up to 99,000 now. No, let's do this. Let's go to Minmus. Let's plan on this working for now. And where did I usually find the best way to get to Minmus was? Practice? No. See, I cannot be. Oof, we have a mooner encounter, which is not ideal. There we go. There we go. Get me within 60 and I can adjust as we get out there. Excellent. So we're um, 14 minutes from that node. Still have to get to our periapsis, so here's hoping. I mean, it's not going to take us out of our orbit, so it's going to be fine. We just can't accelerate the way we would want to. So everybody just hang tight. Bounce around. Do your thing. Enjoy this uh, brief time in Carbon's atmosphere, accidentally. Um... A lot of ums. I really don't know. I, the big question to me is whether this is remotely accurate. And I can't I can't see how it would be. That, and we're going back up again, which is good, that we have 4,000 delta V in that stage. We might. If we do, this is a no-brainer. And this is way easy. But I don't. I just Kerbal Engineer hasn't been. I, I think there's a uh, beta version. Uh, um, but hasn't been officially updated, so I think there's a lot of questions about how accurate some of those delta V measurements are. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of the atmosphere. Nobody wants you there. Nobody wants you there. Uh, it thinks we still have a thousand delta V in this stage, so we should definitely get to Minmus. We may even get our um, circularization burn, but we will not be landing with this stage at all. Which is troubling, concerning. The space is very quiet. Um, hmm. That Mooner intercept is also not desirable, but 925 Delta V seems. Okay, we're back in space. Excellent. Thank God. Still have seven minutes to our burn. We're going to want to start burning around the, probably the, again, the 40-second uh, mark, something like that. 
Yeah, you do your auto saving. Uh, you don't need to be there. You need to be on stability assist. How is our electric charge? We got plenty of electric charge. No worries there at all. Four, three, two. And get ready to go in about. And line that up and then give me full thrust in five, four, three, two, one, mark. Okay, we make our burn from Minmus. Like I said before, we're going to polish off a lot of our fuel here. It's a higher orbit than I had wanted, but I think we can make a minor adjustment uh, on the way there. Get a, get a much lower orbit for super cheap. We still have a hundred or so Delta V left in this tank. And then the big question is just what's left in the what's left in the lander. <clears throat> sunrise coming up. I mean, we have a lot of fuel. We have a lot of fuel. I have to think. And those are tiny, efficient engines. I sure do hope it can slow down. <laughs> Enough. And cut it there. Good. And as the sun comes over, um, that didn't get us anywhere near close enough. Right, this is target. Was my node crazy? Or do we just need a little more Delta V? Actually, let's move this way out here. Ooh, we do not want a Mooner orbit though. Oof. Stupid moon. About if we did it out here. What the hell is going on? 98 more Delta V? Hmm. And we really want to do this back here. Yeah, that's a lot less. Uh, not a lot less. Coming in at an awful angle, too. Oh, this. 737. 269. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use up most of what we got left just to get this encounter. Hmm. Well let's get to that position. And we'll just deal with it. I want to make sure we don't suddenly end up in this influence of the moon. The moon. Can we go in and burn? I think we can. Okay, let's do it. that give us 1.9 million we need come on stop wasting my fuel ah <sighs> 
<sighs> what do we got left? 39 meters per second. Well, we'll make it work. Are we coming on on the wrong side too? No, we just have a really weird orbit. I don't want to turn this retrograde. Yeah, that's a gross orbit. And we are within its sphere of influence. We're about to find out how much delta V we actually have in our final stage. All right, you got to get retrograde. Come on, you can do it. I have electric charge. Why are you not turning? Please turn. Why do I have no control here? Why do I have no control? Why do I have to be connected to KS? Oh, because I see, because I'm doing a bad job. Ugh. Boy, this is just a bungling show, isn't it? We're still gonna, we're not giving up. All right. Gotta pay attention to a warp. We are one minute, 56 seconds from periapsis. Well, at least we didn't go sailing past Minmus while I was figuring out how to fly a ship. <laughs> how do ship? All right. Do a burn. Eject, and here we go. Now for the moment, of no, we don't want that to eject. We want this, we want these to light. So it still thinks we have a lot of Delta V in there. That's good. And we seem to have enough for us to be doing something valuable with it. That's also good. On orbit. Which is, I think, where we're going to leave this episode. In the next episode, we are going to land on Minmus. Um, and then we're going, to, we're going to leave our science project there. And then we're going to come back from Minmus. And we're going to make it all the way back because we have a lot of Delta V. I think. I think we're going to do all those things. Anyway, you'll have to tune in and find out. As always, I... Appreciate you guys watching this. There's been a lot of new subscribers to the channel, a lot of new people kind of checking us out for the first time. Hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing. Uh, we play a lot of different games, but Kerbal Space Program is one of my one of my favorites and, and kind of home to me. So um, yeah, until next time, my name's Sean Sands. Thank you for joining me for Kerbal Space Program, and we will see you again real soon.